thus far in the Olympic qualification period, which comes to an end here in Ostrava. They have made the quarterfinal rounds or better in 12 of them. Olympian coming up a little bit later. Pretty excited for her, and that's got to be uh, just an unbelievable feeling, as you mentioned, 36 years old. Get that done for the first time. This is, uh, I'm interested. And away we go then. On the right side of your screen will be the Latvians, Tina and Anastasia. On the left in the blue tops will be the Brazilian veterans. In position that those blockers could make. Just <laughs> I, I, was, I was making more of a kind of a stature uh, comment. But I do think that uh, Carolina, the most out of their <laughs> individual statures, let's say. Pressure stays on Barbara. And that is it. In so many matches. And it seems that teams can never. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting because, you know, I like that if you, uh, generally speaking, and no. Oh, oh. You couldn't agree more. I've always liked the way your good friend Reed Pretty put it. He said the first kind of 21 points through the technical timeout is your data collection period. And you have your game plan. But then you, who's making these quarterfinals in Elite 16s and who's making medals in Elite 16s? Yeah, Reed, a very analytical guy, and that's a good way to think about it. Data collection. You got to go in with plan A, of course, but be ready with plan B and plan C. Distant offense so far from Barb. A little bit out of system. That is a. Anastasia has been on the receiving end of the majority of serves. What a cover that is from Tina Gradina and the put away. Right place at the right time. Good little chicken wing. And then look at the dead hand baby shot. <laughs> on the beach pro tour also has a fairly wicked float no problem on this one for barbara and an excellent chop down the line from seishas is one of the better shot makers on the beach pro tour just use that vision always to play against the lefties it's just kind of different angles you don't see it quite as much you don't train against it day in and day out uh, but her vision is also unparalleled and kind of her at the moment between anastasia and barbara anastasia Trouble here for Seychelles. Just going to be a free ball coming in for Latvia. And Tina, excellent footwork to get to the option, putting it away. Set right up to the net in the option zone. And Carroll's first On offense to serve. stay ready, both passing and inside out. Yeah, that's why I think it's so important to not get married to serving a particular player because that other player... Like you said, doesn't have much of a rhythm, may or may not be ready, instinctively align yourself that way. And so a lefty, you know, there's six, eight inches difference. And then Carroll wins the throwdown joust play. Murphy's at Law at work. Switching now to Carroll. And that is a big rip down the line from Carol Salgado. And it was the right idea for Brazil to take it on two with the open net. And those plays are some of the ones that could just begin a run. And the option from Carol, this one. Lafayette doing a nice job. Not allowing either Brazilian player to stay in a rhythm. Switching back from Carol to Barbara, Carol to Barbara. Carol mixing it up now with the back set. And there's Tina Gradina. And uh, Gradina was all over it. Wicked short serve from Anastasia. And another block! Famous for saying, and Latvia is making their run at the right time once down 16-12. They've now scored five straight with an opportunity to make it six. Open net swing for Samoy Lova, and it is taken. Now, I have to say, I mean, this is you hit that line shot wide. That, that was really kind of the first chink in the otherwise impressive armor that we'd seen from her the whole first set. And writes the ship there, but I mean, is it too little, too late? Likely. Latvia, a side out is all they need, and this is a detonation to claim the opening set of this quarterfinal. And Anastasia Samoylova puts it away just in between. With a bunch of great blocks. Ah! 
Some tempo play for Samoy Lova. Set drifted just a little bit too far outside. Open net swing for Barbara. Handled from Tina. And there's a big swing from Tina Gradina, high and off the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Tina taking a big dose of that seam and then bombs away. Well, because Carolina decided early to. Back to Barbara now. Excellent recycle from Barbara. Anastasia all over this option. The tomahawk set from Tina. And then Carroll on to well placed high and over the block. I'm continually amazed by the ball control. Barbara Carroll, one of the best ball control teams in the world, as they should be. They have had a lot, a lot of reps. And there's Tina Gradina, an exceptional, particularly well to be the great option player that she is. She's got that kind of backwards jumping footwork. Excellent serve from Tina. And an excellent pass in return from Carroll. That is a nice Carol, I love that distinctive arm swing. Brazil has the widest variety. There are no cookie cutter arm swings in that Brazilian federation. So many different looks. And that What a fill that is from Anastasia. It's just going to be an option. And I know that Lapia didn't make the play in transition, but a sneaky heavy arm. Big move from Tina into the angle, and that is a sharp, sharp angle. Cut off. A great swing on the second look. Old. But that is good aggressive swing from Carroll. That is a nice serve at Tina's left. Open net swing for Tina Gradina. Maybe a bit early on the pull, Rich. Hasn't yet uh -oh. broken out the jump serve, but she is causing enough problems with the float. Oh, what an excellent shot that is. Tina, again, almost making the play just out of her reach. Yeah, it's a great shot and an unbelievably athletic move, even though she doesn't. Carroll now breaking out the jump serve, has one of the bigger ones on the Beach Pro Tour. And that is a big crossbody turn from Tina Gradina. Between players, it'll be interesting to see how long they stay on. Three in one match or three in the tournament? Three in one match, it was wild. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gotta feel good as a line official. <laughs> <laughs> opportunity for Lafayette to take a 12-9 lead at the Tech and the opportunity is taken. Jill? earlier this year as well. And so Latvia, this is the, the best, most consistent high-level volleyball they've played. And that is a fantastic. That, a good service mojo get themselves back in this match. Huge move from Tina into the angle. No cover on that one. A fantastic block from Gradina. Then the timing of it all and the deceptiveness that you can achieve also enormous factors in your success rate. Set drifts a little bit too far outside, no problem. Yeah, you really have to, to credit Latvia for just kind of staying, staying the course and uh, taking care of their business on their side. But it is a reminder that even the best players out here in the world can, can run into ruts, you know, we're all human. And, and how the, about the effort from Latvia even that's enough. up here? Yeah. It would have been an appropriate finish, but Nils uh, not. And so it'll be eight match points for Tina Gradina and Anastasia Samoylova marching into the semifinals of the Ostrava Elite 16. And Barbara, again, that poke.